Another effect that red light has is increasing nitric oxide inside your body. And nitric oxide will help vasodilate your blood vessels. And so as you vasodilate your blood vessels, you're making those hoses bigger, which means you can carry more blood more easily through your system. As long as you're using hyperbaric below 2 ATA, using red light before your sessions is a great moment to do that. Why? You go into the red light, you drop the nitric oxide, you vasodilate, and then you go into the hyperbaric, flooding the system with oxygen. Why am I saying below two atmospheres? Because at two atmospheres is really where the concern for central nervous system oxygen toxicity comes in. As you get to two atmospheres and above, the body, specifically the brain, goes through a lot of vasoconstriction. And that vasoconstriction is really to protect your brain from getting too much oxygen. So you don't want to vasodilate and then get enormous amounts of oxygen that could set the stage for something like central nervous system oxygen toxicity. So assuming that we're going 1.3, 1.5, 1.75, and you're getting some vasodilation before your treatment, everything should be great. And that's a really, really powerful way to make sure that you're getting the benefits of both. If you're using a hyperbaric at much higher levels, like two atmospheres and above, then doing either red light separately, like hours before or days in between, or even after sessions would be a safe way to do that. If you're doing hyperbaric at those lower pressures, then doing red light before that session would be totally appropriate.